It's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, an ear for an ear, an esophagus for an esophagus, a mouth for a mouth. Pause. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Resident Horror. I'll watch more than horror movies. Let's get this going. Before we do, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell so you don't miss a video. As you can see on the TV behind me, Rebel Ridge 2024, runtime of 2 hours and 11 minutes, 4K, Dolby Vision, Atmos, TV Mature, the number one movie in movies today, cast Aaron Pierre, Don Johnson, Anna Sophia Robb, directed by Jeremy Sonier, drama movies, thriller movies, you see right there, I gave it two thumbs up, and I already pressed play. Let's go! Nothing is as it seems. This gentleman behind me right here rides into town with his bright eyes making the girls go crazy. No, 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 he didn't make the girls go crazy. Well, you know, well, the girl I was watching went, oh my god, look at his eyes. My head's a Shut up! Look at my eyes. This gentleman here drives into town on a bicycle into a town unbeknownst to him that is run by a corrupt police force or a group of them and uh, some bad apples in the group and, and everybody of course around them are the sheep they have no backbone they can't stand up to them so they just go along with the program but this film I loved it really I felt this but I have some major gripes with it but doesn't stop it from being a very good film now he has 30k on him while he's riding into this town on a bike. He crosses the line. Group of police officers, or two police officers in particular, they ambush him. One hits his bike on the back. He falls off, and they create this whole fake incident about what happened. He was running away from them, and so forth and so on. Sounds familiar. Now, while doing that, they come about... 30, he has $30,000 on him, which is legal money, which he sold his truck, reason why he was on the bike. It was to be used to post bond for his cousin, who was being transferred to prison, in which he would have been unalived if he went there because he's a snitch. That's what happens. Snitches get stitches. Well, not all the time. It depends on who the snitch is, I guess, and how much clout they have. Anyway, he now is robbed of his money. So he goes to the town, goes to the police station to file a report, and once he mentioned the name, the last name of one of the officers, the lady that was taking the report said, wait a minute, I gotta call the chief. So he tells the chief, the chief tells him, listen, get out of here. This gentleman here is like, nah, I just need my money, you know, and we call it a debt. I forget about the, the bully beat down that the cops did on me and all that, just give me my money. Let me post bond for my cousin, and I'll be out of your hair out of this town. The chief now thinks this is a pissing contest. Nobody can tell me what to do! My town! All of this nonsense, you know, his balls are strung too tight. You know, he's up on a high horse, you know, but his horse legs are about to get clipped off! And he's gonna roll down the hill! And tumble! And break his back! That's what I wish happened to him! But you, sir, were too tame, too respectful, too polite! For no reason. And that's what pissed me off about this movie. So he continues his spiel telling them that his cousin's life is at danger if this bond is not posted. And they pretty much tell him to off. Okay? So he's like, ah, okay. All right. You know what? Okay. So he goes about his business. Um, they have some, some issues back and forth along the way. Fast forward. He gets the news, of course that his cousin is unalive, unalive. And from there, the movie just pew, takes off like a Boeing. <sighs> ah, but one caveat, not one offender was unalive by this man. They are shooting at him trying to take his life, overdosed his friend on, on you know, certain uh, art narcotics constantly, and 
you do not take not one of their lives? Are you kidding me? Your cousin deserves better. Cousin is unalive, turning in his grave. Could you please eliminate at least one of them, please, sir, from six feet under? The spirit didn't even come up on the ground to whisper in his ear and say, please unalive these fools. No. During the whole gunfight, there's gunfights where he's unloading the shotgun. Click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack, click, clack. Shells flying out. And then he takes the shotgun and smacks somebody in the face while bullets are flying all over the place. Are you kidding me? They're trying to take the right. Respect goes out the window. It's an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth, an ear for an ear, an esophagus for an esophagus, a mouth for a mouth. Pause. All of that. This movie should have been a Rambo-like violence towards that police department. Instead, he was respectful. He, that kind of just made me like, come on, man. Come on. All right, he broke an arm. He broke an arm. That was nice. Okay. But please, you could have spared the other police officers, but at least the chief and the two other ones that were involved, the three major pillars, you could have got rid of them. Clean them up. You have it on video. You were justified. That's my only gripe. Was he didn't beat these people down to the ground and put them six feet under. I'm sorry. That's what he should have did. But other than that, oh, de-escalation is the order of the day for this film. That's his whole thing. De-escalation and non-lethal force. So he continues to dispatch these people in non-lethal force using non-lethal shotgun shots and hand-to-hand and -hand jiu-jitsu combat and so forth against these people and um, make some friends, threaten some people. Eventually, he wins and loses at the same time in my eyes in the end of the movie because, yes, his cousin's not coming back in the physical flesh, but he does have the recordings that he needs to bring down this corrupt department in this town, in this county. But other than that, I really enjoyed this movie. The acting was good. Don Johnson, glad he was in there. He did a great job. Mr. Miami Vice, right? I think he was a Miami Vice. Yeah, Mr. Miami Vice. The young lady, Anna Sophia Robb, excellent job. And Aaron, Aaron Pierre, he was fantastic. His facial expressions, he did a really good job with the role. With the role, so. I mean, I would definitely check this out. The sound, although it says here, don't we act most, of course, this is extreme. Yeah, sound was average. Not the best sounding um, movie, but it is not all about the gunshots and all of that. So it didn't have a lot of that, but you know, it's, it's average, good enough. But overall, I will highly recommend this. It has a nice overtone of prejudice in this movie as well. And he kind of knows what's going on, but he's stoic. And as a man, you do have to be stoic. I really respect that how he he was stoic calm logical which kept him able to think but could have just been a little bit more eye for an eye though should have been more eye for an eye to get some real justice for his cousin he would have been justified he would have got off based on the video but other than that yes i give this two thumbs up you see it there two thumbs up i ain't lying to you go check out rebel ridge on netflix it is the number one in movies today for a reason. It is number one in my book this week for a reason. Can't wait to get back to you with some more videos. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this film. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Let, let us know why. But um, I told you why. I told you my concern. I told you my only gripe with the movie was that it wasn't violent enough for what has happened and what these a-holes are doing to the town and to the town folk in this town. They should have got some real six feet under justice. But like I said, other than that, wonderful film. I liked it a lot. So, Resident Horror signing out.
You know what to do. Stay spooky. Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and that notification bell so you don't miss a video. You can help get this channel monetized. Again! Because YouTube robbed me.